Well, I think, you know, you've been going viral for your fight with Jab 5. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I've been seeing that shit. Can you talk about that a little bit, man? Well, what happened with that? Well, you know, shit. You know, shit. They asked me a question and I answered it. You know what I'm talking about? Shit, you know, they asked me a question. They brought him up. I didn't even I didn't even know the dude was. I forgot. They talking about, you know, shit, you can see on the motherfucking interview, Betty, what's the name? You know, I don't remember names. I mean, people I f over. I don't f a lot of people over. You know what I'm saying? They say nothing new. Everybody know my MO from the streets, you know, to the jail system. You get what I'm saying? But, you know, they asked the question. You know what I'm talking about? And I told him I booked him. You know what I'm saying? And I guess, you know, his step pops responded back with some lies. Whatever his stepson told him. But they ain't on his step pops, though, because he didn't know. He was going by what his stepson told him. But I had to set the record straight. You know what I'm saying? Every real nigga, niggas take losses. And niggas, you know what I'm talking about? That's what makes a real nigga commit to his loss. But he didn't want to commit to his loss. You get what I'm saying? But he was one of them niggas that took a loss. You get what I'm saying? He took a loss from me. A lot of niggas took a loss from me. You get what I'm saying? But a lot of niggas was there and he tried to say, you know, he, he ran three phase and he got dopey. Nigga, that shit never happened. Talking about he was in a neighborhood dorm. Nigga, he wasn't in no goddamn neighborhood dorm. Nigga, he was in 812, nigga. If you was in a neighborhood dorm, you would have never made it. Nigga, our hood, nigga, our dorm was 828. Nigga, we was in 812, nigga. Any nigga, and that's why every real nigga that watched this, they know me. You know what I'm saying? But that was a bunch of bunk shit. Nigga, talking about he got dopey. Do it look like I need a dopey in a nigga in my big ass? I'm breaking shit out here. I'm getting cracking off the back. You get what I'm saying? But I thought he would just probably be a real nigga. Like, you know, I took my loss. Yeah, you know, that happened. But, uh, you know, different stroke for different folks. You know what I'm saying? But one thing about the South Central, being in L.A. with this gangbanging shit, you're going to get exposed. You get what I'm saying? It's a bunch of real niggas. You know, Crips, Bloods, niggas, real niggas everywhere. So one thing a nigga going to do is expose you. Because real niggas f with each other and they talk to each other. You get what I'm saying? And you can't hide in that county jail. Or your story can't hide. Or you can't, what's the name, say who you say you is. Because we're going to expose your ass out here. That's the point about real niggas. You know what I'm saying? You got these niggas that be making up lives and shit. That's why real niggas in the pen. It's mad about all these suck ass niggas out here now. Because these suck ass niggas out here think because all the real niggas in the pen, they can run around and be and give a nigga some money and shit. Oh, and sweep shit under the rug. That's out. I'm keeping my foot on every nigga neck. I ain't giving nigga no breath, no ear, no nothing. No space at all. 40 crib. I'm tripping. Stay tripping. I'm always going to be tripping. Can you take me through the fight? Oh, well, you know, shit. You know, shit, nigga, you know, he came to the door, the dorm. I got out the hole and shit. I got out the hole. I just got out the hole. I've been out the hole for like three weeks up to a month for f***ing a nigga over. So they, I landed 812. So like a week or two later, he land there. So he come in, bang on him. Where you from? Hoover. 40 crib, nigga. We got to get in, nigga. They at home, you got to get down, nigga. Go to the back. So we go to the back after, you know, during uh, challenge shit, lunch and shit, pass our thing, go on the stairs. You know what I'm talking about? Where we squabble at. Dead homies immediately get up in there. What? Fody Crip. Get squabbling, get cracking and shit. Boom, I crack him. He fly over the table. You get what I'm saying? For what? We like, oh, you know, hold on and all this shit. Now, and he trying to, what's the name? The nigga was acting like, nigga, I was 50 years old. He had his step pop talking like I was 50. You know what I'm talking about? They said he was 19 at the time. That mean I was 26 at the time. I'm only seven years older than a nigga. You get what I'm saying? But, you know, some niggas don't want to admit to ass whoopings. But that's not part of being a real nigga. You know what I'm saying? Off the back, the nigga's an enemy. So off the back, off the back, nigga. Off the back, nigga, I'm squabbling you. I'm not giving no enemy no pass. And I don't expect no enemy to give me a pass. Because we beefing. And it's on sight. And you active. You get what I'm saying? That's the part about being active. That's the part of being a real nigga. Nigga's getting cracking. I'm getting cracking. I'm active. Nigga, I don't give a Nigga, if you was 6'2", nigga, 50 years old, or 100, I'm getting cracking. Because I'm from Rolling 40s. And I'm getting cracking. Ain't no passes. All that pass shit. Talking about what's the name? Come on. You think if a nigga was in a neighborhood dorm, nigga, you, you, what the? Nigga, knock it off. But you know, different stroke for different folks. Let him tell his story. You know what I'm saying? All that bunk ass shit. But you know, all real niggas, you know, they know what's up. Every real nigga's there. was real Damu's there. Real Keyways there. You know what I'm talking about? This ain't nothing new. Every nigga know my M.O. The famous f***ing extras. You know what I'm saying? I get cracking. This ain't nothing new. 40 crib. Well, well, you get out of jail this time. I'm sorry. Now, do you try to go straight? Do you try to get a job? Yeah, I've been going right now. Right now, I got out of jail. When well, this last time? The other time? The other time? Yeah. From yeah, I got out, but then I ended up going back down, though. They came and got... I, I, when I got out, I got out and I got a weed shop. 
had a weed shop in Western and Vernon. I got a weed shop in Western and Vernon. I was on my shit. I had my money. I had all my shit. You know what I'm talking about? I was doing good. I was in the set. Had spots in the set for the homies and shit. But boom, they came and got me for no reason. So I went down for a high pro case. Shit, you know, I was in that mother for like four, five years fighting it. So then, you know, I ended up uh, losing. I ended up shooting to the pen. They washed me up. So when I ended up shooting to the pen, they and they bound me over to another, to another, for another case too, after I lost that one, to another county. So I lost over there too. I lost over there. They bound me over to Orange County, but I didn't give a because I was, I was already lost. So they bound me over to Orange County, and I ended up losing out there too. I didn't give a though. I took that time out there too. So then I ended up shooting to the pen and shit. I shot the uh, Wasco reception and shit. When I shot the Wasco reception, I was already washed up. You know what I'm talking about? I put my pill in already in the county before I shook off. But shit, you already know. So my mind was already set. I'm going to be here for a while. You know what I'm saying? It's my home. You know what I'm talking about? So shit, I was pushing through and shit. So when I went up to the pen and shit, I went to Wasco. I was only in Wasco for like a... I was in reception right there for like uh like four to five months and shit. And uh I got popping right there. I got popping on one of my homies right there and shit. I got cracking on one of my homies. And then they sent me up to Pelican Bay. So I went up there to Pelican Bay to the shoe. Is that when you did you get you get caught for that? You, I'm taking Yeah, it. on the set. I got caught. Okay. Booked my homie on the yard, stabbed him up, cause it was no good, popped him up and shit. So boom, they hit me for attempted murder and they see me to Pelican Bay. I went to C7. I landed in C7 over there in the shoe in Pelican Bay. They gave me 24 months in the shoe. I was, uh, when I did 24 months, they gave What's, me- For the people who don't know, man, can you can you give them like a day in the life of the shoe? Like, oh, what's shit. Well, it you like? know, so inside the shoe shit, it's already 23 hour lockdown already on the 180, on a four yard. But I'm pretty sure every real nigga know this already. You know what I'm saying? Only come out for an hour and shit. Sometimes not even an hour if they missing the tray. They lock us down for the whole day and shit. You know what I'm saying? But it ain't nothing because we got our recreation and our motherfucking yard inside of our cell. You know what I'm talking about? One thing about being a real nigga and being a real person on the yard, your yard and everything is inside the cell. We're going to buzz down regardless. We roll our mat up at 2 in the morning. Everybody up. Mostly everybody in the shoe program is on the same program. You get what I'm saying? Every race, we all give each other respect. You get what I'm saying? It's a respect thing in the pen. You know what I'm saying? So off the back, you know what I'm talking about? We wake up two in the morning. I roll my mat up off the back, brush my teeth and shit and get ready to bust down and get ready to work out and shit. You know what I'm saying? They let us out for an hour of the yard. Each cell come out for an hour. You know, going to back. It's four corner walls and shit. You know what I'm saying? To go lift up on a pull-up bar and shit or do your burpees. That's Mando. Mandatory working out every day. Mando. Every day in the shoe. If you ain't working out, you ain't active to me. You know what I'm saying? Off the back, busting down and getting your knowledge up. Getting smart back there. So you either get dumber back there or get smarter. It's up to you, though. You doing your time, not nobody else. I got smarter back there. I was already sharp, but I got smarter. You know what I'm saying? Buff every day. You know what I'm saying? Get through buff and come back bird bath. After I get through bird bath, and y'all don't know what that is, some people, for the viewers that don't know, that's bird bath inside your toilet. You know what I'm saying? Or your sink. You get what I'm saying? So after I get through bird bath and I'm busting down, you know, I kick back, read, and sharp my mind up and get smarter at shit. You know what I'm saying? And get away and get a plan to get up out of that cell to get back to the streets to get a bag and shit. So they got you there for 24 months. No, yeah, 24 months. I did 24 months back there. But the 19 months, on my 19 months being back there, I got a I got a, a letter I got a letter from the appeal court saying I had a lawyer and shit. You know what I'm talking about? Telling about my shit about to get overturned and shit. So boom. Later on, a couple of months later, they let me out. They kicked me to A yard. First, they, they, they ended up kicking me to B yard with my homies in there. So I go to B yard, but I was only on B yard for eight days. I went over there and somebody landed on the yard that wasn't straight and I got cracking on my homies. So then I ended up going back to the shoe for getting cracking on B yard. So I went back there for another like six, seven months. Then they kicked me out to A yard. Then I went back to A yard and I went to A yard. I went out there. I went over there to A Block, my homie Baby T Bone from the set. And I was on, I don't know, that's when I found my appeal and they shot my thing and shit. They what? They sh no, they shot my paper for my appeal oh, and shit. Oh, okay. So they got me by my appeal and shit. I was on the yard buffing my homies. I'm on the yard buffing my homies. They called me over the loudspeaker and told me to come back in the building doing yard. So I come back in the building and shit. The counselor wanted to see me. So she sent me down. She like, hey, you about to get released, your appeal return, you about to get kicked out. I told the bitch, like, what? 
whatever. She like, yeah, what you want to see in your dress? Like, oh, I'll grab a computer and shit and turn around. But the bitch like, hold on. You know, you can't grab a computer and see your shit. She like, hold on, what the fuck? So I'm like, I'm just trying to see like, like, you know, if the bitch playing me or not. Because sometimes, you know, they be playing and shit. She turn around, see that motherfucker, you know what I'm talking about? Release day, June 27th. I start streaming like, what the? I'm sad. I'm like, 40 crib. I'm like, I'm dead homies. I'm like, hey, I'm like, Hey, let me back in the thing. She like, all right, hold on. You want to say? I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go get all that on the cell. I'm going to go get on the phone. Come on, I'm going to tell the tower. Like, hey, let me back in the motherfucking pile real quick before I go back in. Cut the phones off before I go call my homie. And I ran to him. He cut the phones off before I call my homie. I went in there and called my homie Baby Runner. I called my homie Baby Runner and shit. And when I called my homie Baby Runner and shit, I'm like, hey, I'm like, they kick my turn my pill off. He like, never. I'm like, they about to let me out. He think I'm playing. I'm like, on 40 crib, I'm about to get out. He like, never on 4-0, I'm about to get out. He like, that's crazy, cuz I just came out with the book and shit. On the set. That's when he wrote that book, Loyalty Don't Exist About Me. On 40 Crip. Me and Cub been road dogs since I've been 12 years old. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.